Luga between Oroko and the hard place. The hard place. Sasa tufanye. Happy house, Paka Cotini. Hey, 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 um, we love you, doctors. We love you. We, 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 we love you. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, I, I, I've said this before, and I'll say it again, but um, there's nothing that humbles me like uh, being in front of doctors. Yeah, uh, and that's something that I'm very proud of because uh, before you, doctors, we gain strength. And we have stood on your shoulders, and you've carried us along, even when the journey is very difficult. We draw a lot of inspiration from you. And for that, we say we love you. Aww. Yes, um, and we sincerely do. And, um, and if, uh, if that makes us look weak, then so shall we. Be. Um, because uh, there's nothing that is as honorable as being your brothers and sisters keep and you did entrust with us the responsibility of carrying your aspirations as doctors but also the aspirations of millions and millions of Kenyans without a voice in this health sector we know that you doctors have gone through horror and sorrow and for 53 years the doctor has been a delegated abandoned person not to speak in a health system that he works in and after those 53 years when we raised our voice in the strongest of ways that the constitution allows there are people who violating the constitution by taking us to jail for doing that shame. and for that we want to tell the country shame on you shame, shame on you shame. i think i want to speak very passionately to the justice system in this country you cannot perpetrate injustice in the name of dignifying the court there is no amount of dignity that comes to the court when you jail doctors who are speaking for the aspiration of Kenyans. It actually, there's no amount of dignity you get as a court. It is none, zero. That's why we come out of Taishima by jailing doctors, I think you have lost cause as the justice system. Yeah. And we have to tell you the truth. If a justice system says that this is what we have and we'll jail you because you've spoken the truth, Hata nyingi, umepoteza njia. And there's something else I want to say to the trade unions. For long, 
the voice of workers has been muzzled, not just by the employer, yeah. but by laws that have been placed to be obstacles. Mm. We as Kenyans know the law. We as Kenyans are diligent citizens. I mentioned before that since my primary school, I've never been punished. You know, and, and that, that is a, test, a testament to the amount of discipline we have. Not even in the hospitals have we been late. How can it be that when you start to speak for doctors, then the severest of punishment come unto you? That is injustice. And we as the doctors will stand against injustice. Okay? So, to the trade unions, there is a big message. I think the judicial system must, must find a way, and I hope that they go on a retreat, because they like, you know, government people like that. I hope they go on a retreat, and this is a very serious message, you media, that you have to get to the judicial system. You must find a way of sorting out workers' issues yes. without suspending their strikes. Yes. Because the employers in this country have taken advantage yeah. of reigning and hiding in the court without responding to issues of workers. Correct. Some of them that are emergency. We have had doctors shot in the corridors of Kenyatta because there was no security in that hospital. Yeah. Does it mean that the life of a doctor is worth much less than the life of the patient he was going to save. We have had Dr. Piri being shot in Mary. Dr. Mary was shot at Kihara because there's no security, there's no ambulance to take the doctor to the hospital to attend to patients. And when we say that you want to jail us, that's injustice. Yes. And we shall proudly walk into jail. Because a system cannot be placed to be unjust. If it means that we have to review the trade unions, if it means we have to review the Labor Relations Act, we shall walk out of jail after 30 days. I shall lead the review of that Labor Relations Act. <laughs> to you, the doctors, to you, the doctors, we have come a long journey. It is not time to drop the button. No, it is not time to drop the button. This is the time for us to walk with our heads held high as doctors, as proud citizens of this country. Sometimes in a journey, there are people who will abuse you. There are people who will throw stones at you. There are those who will back at you. We know that there are so many people who have been paid to back at us. Okay? There are 36 bloggers who have been paid 20 million shillings. 20 million, yeah, led by Dennis Itumi. 20 million shillings. Yes? People who have been paid 20 million shillings, 36 of them, 20 million, to tweet that doctors only want money. Shame on you. Idiots. 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 No, you, you don't have to go that low. You don't, you can't, don't match that level of low brain. Please. <laughs> Leave idiots to be idiots. Okay? And doctors in a whole CBA, doctors and we, 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 we saw government advertise this. So government gives 20 million to 36 bloggers and wants to give 11 million to 5,000 doctors to do research. <laughs> <laughs> really? So, 11 million is enough for 5,000 doctors to do research, and 20 million is enough for 36 people to tweet greedy doctors, eh, nyef, nyef, eh, what? <laughs> Let me tell you, Kenyans, I know that you live in a rotten society where you are used to thiefery. And some of you who are public servants never show up at work. And you may think that that is the life doctors live. No. Doctors are honest people who always go to work. Okay. And if, you, if your society is dishonest, they know that they are a group of honest people called doctors. They are the clean ones. 
The system will make us look like the villains, but we are the victims. They will call us sewage because we've said the truth. But at the end of the day, we shall triumph. We shall overcome because this journey belongs to doctors to change health system. We invite you Kenyans to join us in that journey. But should, should, and, and we want to, to tell it to Kenyans. You have been fed with lies. You can choose to choose to continue consuming lies or you can choose to join us. At the end of the day, this is your country. When you wake up tomorrow and on Thursday and we have walked into jail, doctors will still be on strike. And you, the Kenyan, what kind of a healthcare system shall you have? So these are hard questions. And we know we live in a society that does not like to ask themselves hard questions. We, the doctors, are telling you, Kenyans, begin to ask yourselves hard questions. You must ask yourselves hard questions. Because we cannot continue in a system that doctors are denied dignity, and you, as a Kenyan, you are paid 20 million to go and start tweeting, and then there are others who join. And I want to also say this, you know, hakuna aja ku, aja tu Juzi, there are a few bishops who also came forward, Oma, Dr. Waruti Kazi. The next day you saw that they had been called to discuss vaccine issues at Ministry of Health. True or false? You shall not use the doctor's strike for your own interest. Keep off. Keep off! Okay? So if you have issues of vaccines with the Ministry of Health, go solve your issues of vaccines. Sio kusema Oma, Dr. Waruti Kazi, ndiyo mpendelewe. Keep off. Keep off. Keep off. Okay? Because we did not embark on this journey for anyone. It's the CPA, the CPA, the CPA. Senior Kweli? And we've walked this journey alone. For the sake of Kenyans, some of whom, most of whom do not understand what we are fighting for. But we shall fight for it anyway. The Bible says, Okay. The Bible says in Psalm 30, okay, verse 5. Article right? 5. Article 5. Weeping shall only be for the night. For joy comes in the in the morning. Alright? Okay? And the joy shall come for this country. There is no single moment of change in a society that has not come with pain. When we wanted our constitution, it came with pain. When at a coalition government, it came with pain. This doctor strike, we know, has come with lots and lots of pain for the millions of Kenyans who have also been abandoned by the elected leaders. But we tell you, the end shall be sweet for this society. So we, we shall endure the pain. We shall, we shall endure the pain as doctors. But we ask you also to endure the pain. But you can make it shorter. You can demand that your government implement that CBA. So if you're sitting at home, castigating doctors, saying doctors are this, you're wasting your time. And I want to tell it to you again, you're wasting your time. There is no group of people in this country who have seen suffering like doctors have seen. So if you think that you have watched television and because you've seen just one, you have the moral obligation to stand before Kenyans and talk about suffering, no. We have denied you that medal. <laughs> because we see suffering every single day, day, okay? And there's no one who can talk about suffering as much as doctors can talk about suffering. So please, keep off your moral choruses of all doctors should go back to work. The only people we want to hear should tell us the solutions for the healthcare system in this country. Part of which is implementing the CBA. Si tumesema? Na sisi tutawambia ukwe? Wapende wa sipe? Wapende. Sasa hata kama we ni kanisa bado tutakuambia ukwe? Ukweli. Ukwe nani tutakuambia ukwe? Ukweli. 
Na hata serikali tunawaambia ukwe? Ukweli. Koti tumewaambia ukwe? Ukweli. Si ndio? Ama sasa madaktari watarudi kazi Thursday. Hakuna, si ndio? So there is no need of inflicting self pain for a journey that is helpful for millions of Kenyans including the judiciary that themselves they have CIC insurance they go to hide themselves in Nairobi hospital while Kenyans are dying. Okay, na sisi tutasema ukweli, si ndio? Wanasemanga oh ukweli sisemwe sisi tutasema. Eh? Truth is very painful. This country must get used to truth and hard fact. And you as a country must come to a level where you want to discuss hard things. Not simple things so magatari wakienda mgomo or return to work formula. We did not ask for return to work formula. We asked for the implementation of the CBA. And this time we have the conviction, we have the resolve, all right? We shall get it. We have not threatened anybody. We have simply said implement the C. Sindio? Eh with those very many remarks, my beloved doctors, I want to tell you guys, suffering is only for a short time. Okay? So far, we have achieved big. So far, we have the victory. Because you, the doctors, have already shown that you can be your champions. We have shown extraordinary unity. Okay? This strike is being watched all over the world. I can tell you even Indian doctors will not come here. <laughs> they will not. This strike is being watched all over the world. The world. And there is no way, there is nowhere in the world in the last 20 years that doctors have gone on strike and they have been jailed. You think Indian doctors will come here? We swear to the same oath as doctors that you shall be your brother's keeper. You think Cuban doctors will come here? No. All right? So stay put, stay solid, support each other. We have, as some boys told you, ways to mitigate. Yes, and this is also to the trade unions. You now have to start thinking about strike funds, okay? To hold on strikes as long as you want. You want. Na sisi madatari, tutaonjesha hiyo ji? Ji. Sindio? So that wakikuja yuku nyumu wanatuambia, oh, you know, your members may not. No, doctors, doctors we can. Sini ukwele? Sini ukweli? Eh, yes. hey, tumejua kuna wenzetu hapa na pale, but we will support support them. Sindio? Because I know amongst us as doctors we cannot lack. Can we? No. We don't lack. Sindio? Eh, yes. hey, so our interns, our younger doctors msikwe na wasiwasi. Tumewape, tumewapenda. Okay? Keep on strike until that day that the government comes into their senses. Okay? All right? Until that day that they stop pinching tents and putting billboards all over voter registration when all hospitals are closed. Now, kwa wa Kenya, ukichukua kura yako, pia chukua NHIF card. That NHIF card is more important than even that voter's card. Na najua media muambia watu. Watu wa chukua NHIF card. Ndiyo hii mgomo ikiisha, maneno iko mzuri, sisi wenyewe kama madaktari, we want to give Kenyans the best of sir services. Sindio? Mm. Eh, na wakikuja hospitali, atutaki uo mekuja hospitali, we have given you the best of services and you cannot afford. Please go take an NHIF card. In fact, prioritize it. I know NHIF spends millions of money on billboards. I've done for them free advertising. Sindio? Yes. Sindio kweli? Okay. Kwa sababu sisi, we love a good healthcare system. Na pale kuna uzuri tunase? Tunase. Ma na uzuri hiko kwa NHIF? NHIF. Na tunambia wa Kenya wachukue ka? Hadi. Before you go to the voter's card, take your NHIF card. Because once we make this healthcare system better, do not struggle to pay for health services. All right? For now, we shall continue. For now, we shall continue with our journey to CBA implement implementation. Thank you, doctors. For us, we love you. We know what we want, and what we want is your aspirations. All right? With those very many remarks, may God bless you. Thank you for the love you have for us. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the encouragement. Thank you for the prayers. Bye. <laughs>